All right, let's start this thing. Let's start this thing because I have a huge list of shit that I have to do. Uh, let me see. So, <sighs> let me take a drink first. <sighs> so, one thing that I noticed. Well, first off, there's a lot of stuff that's that we need to do. Uh, I have, I, I created a bunch of lists yesterday uh, to basically break down different areas I need to work on. I have the oil area now. Right, so we have to basically go in here and do some work down here. Um, so the oil area needs to be worked on. Uh, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take and just basically just G all this stuff, just bam, just gone. That way, I have like tons of room down here for what I don't know for whatever. Um, probably gonna put some, I mean, we have the oil refinery here, probably gonna put some kind of power generation down here because this whole area is being taxed heavily by the uh i mean by the line here i mean we're where the current load is 1500 out of 2000 and we only have a potential load of 20 uh, we have and, and we have a potential load of 2770 so this is just not good right it's not a very healthy uh healthy line so I could split things up and move things around but i think what i'll do is i'll add a um another power source and even though that's not going to solve the problem of like load, uh, at the very least, I'll be able to maybe ease up some of the load off of batteries or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I do need to add a couple more batteries. I want to split this up because uh, I have too much stuff. I, I remember I split this up yesterday. But the problem is the the batteries, whenever they turn off the generators, there's no batteries on this side for this system. So this entire side shuts off. <laughs> I mean, this is the potential load on this thing is massive as well. So yeah, we just basically need to put in a bunch of transformers and just start splitting the signal up, man. Uh, how many viewers? I don't know, cause it was a raid and they uh, it was like 221 people raid. It was a yeah, it was it was a raid uh, and maybe a host as well. So I think that, but it, you know, whenever you raid somebody, you usually there's like a big fall off on, on, on folks, but there was a few people who stuck around and, you know, hung out for a little bit and, uh, you know, we, 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 we bullshat for a little bit, but it was cool. It was cool that they, uh, you know, they decided to throw me a, uh, throw me a raid. That was pretty nice. Pretty nice of them to do. Uh, this area over here still needs to get cool. Do I still have those pipes over here? I just, yeah, I just recently removed the radiant pipe. So there's a lot of heat that still kind of just exists over here purely because at one point in time, it was really hot over here, but that should balance out pretty quickly because we have, you know, tons of hydrogen in here. And then we have the AETM N that is uh, being fed hydrogen and that can turn around and continue to cool the uh, cool the base or cool this area. I don't know if this is ever going to actually cool to the point where we could use it again as a as a freezer. To, to passively cool things. Right now it's passively cooling things, but at the same time it's not, because you can see stuff up here is melting. So eventually it's all gonna go away. I have tons of drains down here that are set up to pipe everything over to other areas that, that I can actually use it. Um, I have to deal with this water sometime soon. I'm probably gonna set up a sieve and just clear out through this water and this water. So you can see I have tons of liquid. I have so much liquid. It's just a matter of getting it uh, getting it to a space where I can get it cleaned and get it usable. Need some ACs in there. Yeah, just, just put some, some uh, just put them in the windows. <laughs> uh, the other thing I noticed too, and I don't know if you guys noticed, is yesterday I made a couple comments about the food depleting significantly and very quickly. I was like, huh, that's getting lower, that's getting lower. I want to look into that because, I mean, it says right here that I have some food, but I didn't actually look at what it was. Let me see, we have... So that's 83,000 lice loaf. Is nobody allowed to eat lice loaf? I'd understand why. Uh, lice loaf. Oh, wait, no, that has to be fried up, doesn't it? That's an ingredient. Oh, no, it's over here. Lice loaf. Oh, so they do have it. So I wonder what they're... What's in this fridge? Well, what's in here? Hold on a sec. What's in, what's in here? This has been getting stocked more, more often than anything else, I feel like. Mush fry, mush fry, sleet wee, fried mushroom, bristleberry, sleet wee, raw egg. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. How do we just uh, open things up and take a look? So a little bit of cooking ingredients. Uh, just a tiny little bit of cooking ingredients there. Lots of sleet wee grain. Lots of lice loaf. Some meal lice. 
What's in this fridge then? Edible. Some lice loaf. I mean, ultimately not a ton. I mean, what is the total of this thing hold? 100. So a half of it is, hmm. I wonder if it's because, I mean, how much do we have in cooking ingredients? Oh, there's a, wow, so we have a lot of sweet wheat grain in the cooking ingredients. And you know what? Yeah, just turn on. The automation is telling this thing to turn off. So this is, oh, it's enabled by grid. Oh, what the fuck? There's something fucking weird going on here. Because the food is depleting, like, significantly. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on this and come back and check on it. I feel like there's something going on and I'm just not seeing it right now for some reason. Uh, lime. Oh, interesting. The mineral commonly found in critter eggshells. Useful as construction material. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'll come back and check on that later. Uh, let me look at my list. So... We have a heat issue down here because you can see all of my... All my, let's, let's actually, yeah, we'll, we'll settle this first. This is probably the biggest problem that we currently have to deal with. The food, we have plenty of food left to, to last us until, until we see if there is an actual problem. Um, but this, this right here is a now problem, I feel like. Uh, it's 118 degrees down here. Some of the bottom of the stomach going nuts? No, because nobody's stressed out enough to do that. Um... Oh, that's Benji. Never mind. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't think that's a thing though. That one dupe couldn't take away, take out that much stuff. Anyway, so there's carbon dioxide everywhere down here, but none of these are actually functioning because it's so hot. Is it hot because of the gas is coming in? Not really. The gas is like 104 degrees, so even that's not that hot. How much is it coming out of here? 103 degrees. It's getting hotter. Actually, it's getting hotter as it's coming down here. If I put insulated, I'll actually cool this area with this carbon dioxide coming out of these vents. Um. How many oxyferns do I have? Or, uh, wheezworts? Seed. Wart seed. I have two. Just two? I thought I picked up a bunch from the other thing. I did put four here, so maybe that's it. Um, I think I'm gonna, uh, gonna... Deconstruct this. And then deconstruct this. And I'm gonna replace this tile with farm tile, and we're gonna put oxyferns here. I don't have any proof that oxyferns has assisted in this keeping this area cool, but I'm going to assume that it has. Without those, this whole area might have melted. I don't know. I don't know. But once they build these, then I'm gonna go ahead. I shall go copy settings here. And then we'll go. Kaboom! Kaboom! There we go. So two oxyferns. Is that actually all I have? It's Weez Weez it's not cosmic. Yeah, so it really is all I have is just Weezwort. Or, um, two Weezworts. God, I wish I had more. I, I mean, there, there are some. It's probably a seed over here somewhere. Sleet wheat grain. Plenty of sleet wheat grain, damn. Polluted ice, sleet wheat, hydrogen. I mean, there is obviously a wart there, a wart there, and a wart there. But I don't want to take that. I don't want to take that away. I've already messed up this entire area here. Your Weezwort draws have been lacking. We need to... We definitely need to take care of this at some point. Oh god, they're getting grossed out by all this. I wonder if we should start piping this up and out. Specifically to get it clean. Or, or, or... Maybe what I should do is... Divert some of this... Into this system. You know? Instead of continuing to contribute to everything down here, why not just go ahead and pump it into here? And then the water will go through the, you know, the cleansing system. And then it would get pumped back into the cooling system. And then it would get turned around and brought back in and stored. So instead of contributing to that, let's do that. Let's do that. There's no reason for it to stay here. We have, it's, it's a very slow drip. We're not really saving anything. No heat stuff? No, it doesn't. It's only 100 degrees. It's not, th it's not that much. This is not that much. The water is, is actually much cooler. The I'm sorry, this wait, what is oh I'm sorry, I was looking at the gas actually. The water is 102 degrees. So yeah, no, this is this is cooler than the water going that way. <laughs> so no, this is fine. We could totally patch this in and it'll be fine. Uh let's see, refinement. Where was that? Just gonna just oh yeah, sorry, plumbing. Liquid barrage. Pop pop pop. And we're gonna go in and then over straight over to the thing, or should I go over from here? Let's see. 
Let's talk about space. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I should maybe insulate this stuff. stuff just to... Because I, I, I do eventually want to cool this area. So maybe insulating it is probably a good idea. Or maybe what we could do is put a radiant pipe up and cool it right as it goes by here. Next. Well, the, the Wii's words will definitely lose that fight. <laughs> They're not going to win that fight at all. All right, so good. So that'll come over and that'll uh, uh, get stuff into this system and then it'll get dripped back out into this system. If there's small enough droplets, what is this, 45 grand? Yeah, if there's small enough droplets, like we're not going to have a problem with this. Let me go and actually cancel these. Uh, just those right there because I don't know what I'm going to do with this just yet. This is a good pull. Like we could take this and, and uh, like P-U-L-L. Uh, we could take this pipe and pipe it down here and basically just extract everything up, run it through the sieve. The sieve does not get a lot of work. It's not a very busy sieve. Uh, so we could take it and utilize it, get some of that, um, get some of that liquid clean, and then have it dumped back into somewhere else. I don't know yet. We do have a bunch of uh, storage over here that's not even close to full. So we could just continue doing that. I talking to Sputnik. Sorry. Does space draw heat away from pipes? Dang. But you're saying it makes it it, it it makes it hotter? Huh. There they go, there they go, there they go. Did they actually change the... They did. Okay, good. So here we go. So this is going to go in. Oh, man, they didn't change it to... Let's try it again. There we go. And actually, let's go ahead and uh, just get them all. I have plenty of this material, so I might as well just re recoat everything with insulation. <laughs> Spray insulation, whatever they use in the uh, oxygen included universe. Just wrap all the pipes in a nice little sweater. There we go. Sunshine plus no heat radiation. The new icon made it harder to find you on my list. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, it's just, 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 we just gotta get used to it. Um, yeah. Just wrap it in, ki in kitchen foil. Tin foil, that'll do the trick. Alright, so yeah, let's figure out how we're gonna pull this up and contribute to this, to this mess here. Uh, it's backed up right here, but this other reservoir is not. So, and what we could probably do is... No, we can't really make any more room. I could put another one over here, I guess, if I really need an extra reservoir. Or I can open something up and put, put them somewhere else, I don't know. Uh, is this actually dropping a temperature? Did I put more? Yeah, okay, let me see. Body temperature, 112 degrees. What was it, 118 before, right? So I think yes. I think yes, it is indeed slowly working. But you know what I think we need? I think we need to do, like, the biggest... temp shift project we've ever done with a material that we have a lot of. What is that? Clay? No. Something that we have, like... What is that? Obsidian? Thermally reactive? We have lots of obsidian. What is this? Dirt. Slow heating. Coal? Wow, I have a shitload of coal. Here comes the science. This is more like guesswork, but it's a very big job of guesswork. How about dirt? Overheat temperature is low, but I think the, these things overheat, like, like when do they... What is their actual overheat temperature? Let's see, does it actually say anywhere? No. <laughs> Just not enough. Not enough, uh... Not enough information. Which is annoying. Temp shift overlay. What is this? Oh, the... The state chain? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, you're talking about Sputnik. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. God. All right, let me see. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go We're gonna go through and put temp shift plates, and we're going to make them out of dirt. And we're going to put them all over the place. It's not hot enough here to melt them. And if it ever gets hot enough to melt these things, then we have much bigger problems. Uh, the temperature over here, let me just see, is 123 degrees. So, relevant to me. Oh, what is it? There's an overlay temperature that shows the rate of change uh, for heat. Yeah, I don't know exactly how to read that, actually. So, there is a state change. And it just shows... I mean, it just shows, uh, you know, stable, high energy state change, low energy state change. I don't know how this relates to... 
I guess, like, how I view materials, right? Uh, thermal tolerance, like, again, I mean, like, what, why is this blue? Body heat loss, thermal tolerance, comfort zone. Yeah, this, this is, I, like, looking at this, it's like, okay, cool, comfort zone, on uh, DTUs, I mean, sure, like, but yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of, uh, of temp shift place down. Let's just get that started now. We're gonna make it out of dirt too. So we'll start down here. And it's made out of dirt, so they should have plenty of that. And yeah, we'll start there. It's gonna take a long time. I already have temperature plates all over here, so I just want to put them everywhere else. And see, I, I don't know. I'm guessing that the way temp shift plates work is it pulls it off of the foreground, I guess, and then spreads it, right? It pulls it off the foreground because it's a background uh, uh, building. So it pulls off the foreground and then it would spread it. And so if it's another temp shift plate, then it would basically hand that off and another temp shift plate will hand that off. And it kind of like takes and just diffuses the heat um, across the temp shift plates. I've never scienced the temp shift plates. I've only just used them. Just, you know, just to use them. So we'll start with this right here, but I do want, I think I'm going to do basically the entire downstairs area, but this is going to take forever. Speaking of taking forever. Oh, he came down here just for that. Huh. There's so many chores to do for these guys. Let's just make this like a, a six. We'll eventually get down here. Temp shift is kind of a black science at the moment. <laughs> Hot air rises. Let's, uh, let's build basically heat sinks near the bottom. Well, I mean, no, it, it, it does make sense. We want to pull everything. We want to help shift that heat up. It, the heat does not... Just because something is hot in the basement doesn't mean that it's going to just magically rise up. Like, as you can see, the heat... Okay, not here. The heat is pretty much all central, like all centralized right here. So we need to take we need to take this heat that's kind of... That's sticking around here, where the carbon dioxide is building up, and around these things, and we need to basically push it out into these other reaches here um, to, to better take advantage of uh, of the rest of the space here. Witchcraft plates. Okay, good. I'm glad. Good. Good to know that it's not just me. <laughs> uh, we'll take care of the water and everything later because we don't need it right this second. We have plenty of water here to last us. Probably a good another twenty, or probably another. I mean, this water will probably lasts another 25, 30 cycles easily, I think. Um, this is, uh, oh good, it's nice and full. They're still pedaling that. Good. 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 All right, so power is the other issue that we have. So we do have to tackle that. So go and put, like, four. Time for radiant liquid loop to move heat. Yeah, but I need a place to cool it, though. That's the problem. I already did that. I already did that trick. And look what happened. This used to be all ice. <laughs> it used to look like this. And now it looks like this. So yeah, that's out of the... Out of the... That's not, it's not something that we could do right now. Uh, let me see. Puffla egg. Sure, let's get Puffla. Let me see. Are they working on stuff? Yeah, they are. Okay. Yep. Wait. There we go. 110,000 kilocalories. Mm-hmm. Keep my eye on it. Smart batteries. We go smart batteries here. We'll make them out of something that we have a lot of, which is actually the worst thing to make them out of at the same time. Aluminum, gold, mm, thermal. Ah, eh, it's fine. I think it'll be fine. Again, it's not gonna get that hot down here. Should I put three there? Let's uh, kill that for now. So I have an automation issue with these, uh, you know what, before we go anywhere, let me, I'm gonna kill all the automation off here. Because it all needs to be redone. I know, I, in my head I know roughly what I need to do, but I need to, you know, get rid of all these first. Steam gens delete heat. Uh, I was under the impression that they got rid of the deleting heat thing, uh, like, probably a year ago, actually, Inferno. Because people used to use the water sieve and other things in order to delete heat. And I believe that they... I know they fixed some of the things, at the very least. Because you can't use a water sieve anymore to... Oh, it's just nerfed? Okay. Uh, 
All right, let me see. How am I going to do this? Automation. We're going to take an ore gate. We're going to take an ore gate. We'll put it right here. Two ore gates, actually. We'll put one here, and we'll put one here. Then we're going to take automation, and we're going to run this automation uh, out of what? Lead? It's fine. And then we're going to go doop, 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 doop. And then doop. That's going to go to point one. And then this is going to go to, of course, that's going to be there. It's going to kill that. Let's see. And this is going to go straight across to point number two. Then we're going to have this point here, and that's going to go and attach to, we're going to go up actually, leave a little bit of room if we need it. It's going to go to that. And then this is going to go up and over to this. And then this will go, let's not break those. So that way we can have this automation line go down and it'll attach here and here. And we'll get rid of that break. And so what this is going to do is, what this should do is any set of batteries that needs power will turn on all three generators. That way we have a blast of 2400 watts um, to recharge them. And then when they're full, they'll toggle off. Now, obviously, if we have we have three sets of batteries set up, we have battery set one, battery set two, battery set three. And we have to redo the wiring on this because these, these aren't even hooked up to the power line. Um, and that is so it's going to keep the generators running more often. But at, instead of running like one generator at a time, like, for example, this set over here was only using one generator. And that generator generator was uh, um, well because that one is not running only for it's only running for this side. The other two are working extra hard. So it this is kind of like a way to distribute heat by just using more things, right? So if you have more things that are operating less often, then that should make them uh, they'll keep the heat kind of diffused a bit more. I think should it should. Let me see. Uh, we do have to reconnect. I mean, I have wires that are. Uh, I should have the wires on like I think this is correct having the batteries on the inside of the wire on the inside of the uh, on the base on the heavy watt wire and then have it branch over into the that way I guess that way so there's only there's always battery power on the inside no because then that wouldn't even make sense for the well let's see let's we'll just connect the conductive bridge and we'll just see if the uh, bridge uh, to, to conductive power because this over here is separate right and ideally it should be toggling the generators to turn on whenever it needs power But these transformers are gonna con con they're they're gonna have issues constantly because the transformers are going to be upset when they don't have power, huh? I guess we are gonna science some stuff here. Yeah, so this thing does uh, what is it, two thousand watts? I think per line. Yeah, two thousand watt. Well, because of conductive wire, so. Um, 2,000 watt potential load here is crazy. 3,000. We're going to definitely need to have more transformers. We might have to actually go over here and put up another set, another transformer, and another uh, couple of batteries. I think that's going to be something that we have to do. Oh, <laughs> oxygen not included, electrician guide. For reals though, man, like, <laughs> this is, there's so much stuff that you can uh, do wrong that, yeah, you do feel like you have to uh, consult an electrician guide almost. So let's put... We'll put another power line. I'll put a transformer right here. Actually, I'll go and grab that now. And then we'll put two more batteries right next to it. So, uh, one, two, one, two. Might as well go and just complete the bridge here. We need emo with the uh, dupe mic and a lab coat. <laughs> Doc! What up? What is happening? This is a good spot, I think, because then we could very easily bridge it into the. Uh, let's see, heavy wire joint plate. Yeah, we could just join it pretty easily, I think. So we'll just go. Can you put an item right on top of that? I think so. Yeah. So we'll put the... No? No. Okay. 
Example of temp deleting on Volcana Asteroid in the Oni channel. Oh, I don't know. I don't watch that shit, man. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch that stuff, man. I, I just do. I'll only watch a Brothgar video if it's something that is like really weird, like the salt. He had like that salt gener power generator thing or whatever. Like that's all. But but otherwise, trial and error, man. Trial and error is king. <laughs> oh, did it work? Yeah, there you go. Put that in there. Yeah. And then we get some more of these batteries made out of uh, lead. Huh. Let me see. Should I give it a gap? One, two, one, two. Yeah, let's do that. A little bit of a gap. That way they're not like just shitting on each other with heat. So we'll have to add this to the... Oh, man. That messes up my and or gates. <laughs> I could set up another one, I guess. Uh, actually, I think I could probably... What? What if I just do that? Does that just work? I feel like that's cheating. What's the point of having an and or gate? If dupes get randomly shocked while messing with cables. Yeah, there's like a skill thing or something. Uh, they, they don't have the right skill for it, or if it's not, or they have the wrong hat, <laughs> or something really dumb like that. Attach that. Attach that. Alright, so again, I'm gonna have the power on the outside of the line. There we go. So we'll see what that, what that does, and then we'll split this somewhere. And see what we want to do in terms of uh, keeping this line from exploding, because <laughs> it is going to. How are we doing down here? I know that yeah, they're still coming down here and doing work every once in a while. Gotta go over here, choo choo. Oh no, okay, gotta pick up lead. Sure. And then over here, power or uh, heat. Yeah. And this is. Uh, are these both dormant? Looks like it. Sure are. Okay, so these are probably... We've got to turn this off, I think, for now. There we go. Real man, don't read guides. That's right. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. I just... You know, I just, I just like to you know, just try things. Uh, wow, that power. Wow, that filled up really fast. Holy crap. So now the question is, how is power going to... We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have four groups. Four power grids, basically. Um, and so in these four power grids, which of these batteries are going to take the biggest beating? I think this one is, because the second these things turn off, this is hooked up to the main trunk. So it's going to probably deplete the fastest. Actually, hold on, that's weird. Ah, <laughs> it's because the damp... Oh, you can't see. Uh, hold on, get out of the way. The, the threshold is super high. <laughs> Let me see. There you go. I'll copy those settings and put a... The threshold is basically, uh, it loses 1% power and it needs to get everything back. It's kind of like when you're playing the Call of Duty and you, you, you fire one round and then you have to reload. <laughs> so there we go, now we're good. So low threshold, high threshold, how are these guys? Good, fantastic, okay, that should work fine. Uh, let's see, did I give you a pipe? Uh, and requires two inputs that are both true or requires only one input to be true. Yeah, that's the other thing I was wondering too, like if... If I could piggyback those, what is, is there a key for automation? Oh, it's left shift F2. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that. Left shift F2. So yeah, I wonder like, is it going to, I mean, right now, it's all, the whole base is running off battery power. So this is gonna turn green in a second. Oop, okay, good. That's functioning the way it should. This is this is what I'm wondering if this, how this functions, like if I need to have another, uh, another OR gate because having these both merged here, like, they would both have to be sending a, a, a red signal for that to work. So that would, I, oh, there it is, that's the answer right there. If they both send a red, they, would, they both have to send a red signal, which means that this system of having one or the other is not going to work there. So we have to break the uh, automation wire. We'll just break, mm, did it beep on its own? You, you, oh yeah, yeah, it just, you just set the threshold and it just does it. Automation is dope. And then we'll cut this back a little bit. And what we'll does put like right here? Oh! 
<laughs> That's what I wanted to do, but all right. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of doing that. <laughs> all right, so this is gonna meet up with this. There we go, now that's back online. And then this is gonna connect there, and then this is just gonna go right up to here. There we go. That will keep it uh, good. I wonder if I should also have them turn off the transformers, because the transformers are gonna bitch. Like, the second the power, the, they're running out battery power, they're gonna bitch. Not this one over here. And actually, you know what? None of them are gonna bitch because this, these ones are always supporting the entire grid. But maybe that's enough buffer. Hey, our, uh, our Wheeze Wart slash Oxifern slash Temp Shift Plate thing worked. We dropped the temperature down to 89 degrees. What does it say here? 101 degrees. So we actually shaved off like 17 degrees of heat because of the uh, the two, two Wheeze, Warts, Wheeze Warts and the Temp Shift Plates. I don't know which one did the most work there. So I think what we should do is, yes, we should put Temp Shift Plates made out of what? Uh, dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Oops. Went too far. We gotta do something with all this dirt. And besides, half these dupes are just chilling. They're not doing anything. They get the work. Get the ass to work. Get out of here and start. Start working. And I put one in a place it didn't need to go, which is right here. There you go, and one over here. <gasps> Rawr! What up, dude? <laughs> so they're gonna be busy doing that for a long time, and actually, I kind of fucked up when I gave them all. Let's make these like, uh, sevens or something, but definitely not nines. That's, that's too much. Uh, hold on. Let me change that priority to just construction. And then we're gonna seven all these. There we go. There's no reason they're doing like right this second. Think of temperature shift plates as thermal mass increase. Okay. I always think of it like that. Hey, how is our um How is our oh yeah. It's working. So I anticipate this area cooling down significantly. We're at 104 degrees. We've only gained five degrees in the past like 100 or so uh, cycles. But if we can if we can get these same results that we've gotten down here, 101.5 degrees, like that's pretty good. 100 100.9. Yeah, if we if we could bring down the temperature of this entire area down here and maintain that through basically intermittent uh, uh, usage of the um, what's it called? The, uh, the the natty gen and uh, natty gens then yeah it should work thermal plate invasion this answer my question do you record each YouTube episode separately or edit it down edit down one game so yeah I I, I, I yeah you I've already answered your question actually yes so uh, I take it I take like the, these streams and I chop them up and I try to make them make sense I try to find like a good stopping point a good starting point but it's hard sometimes the episode just like ends just ends um and then I try to like uh, the beginning of an episode or the or whatever. Like I'll try to like start it maybe a little bit later when you know if if it makes more sense to get right into something instead of you know talking or something. But yeah, play for your first time yesterday. I drowned a dupe in three cycles. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes that happens. <laughs> That's fucking great. So hot in here that these the steam this water is not turning to steam. That is a, that is a, 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 not right now me problem, but it is a problem. This water's gonna have to be pulled up soon. Uh, actually, what is the germs uh, levels in here? What is the germ thing again? There it is, germ overlay. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Zero surface germs. Even the polluted water. Most of this water is actually pretty clean. That dupe is dirtier than this water. <laughs> <laughs> in the water. Oh yeah, don't disinfect this, dude. They're coming down here to disinfect this thing because it's a nine. That was a mistake. Let me see. Disable disinfect. There we go. Hmm. Right, disable disinfect for all this stuff. <laughs> These ladders and everything. So this water is surprisingly clean. I was wondering, I hovered my mouse over, I didn't see any germs. I thought because I was the wrong overlay. But yeah, look, there are germs, but there's not a lot of it. That's great, actually. There's probably no germs in here. 
Yeah, of course not. Question is, do I want to pump water from here into here and get it into this system? Actually, let's see where that water goes. It goes up and into the filter. The filter is going to take out just the clean water and put the dirty water into this system. So, the answer is yes. I could just take this water out here and dump it in there. Which sucks because I could have done that this whole time. Just had this water drip that I that I made that made this gigantic pool of water just dumping in here constantly. And that cool water at 102 degrees should maybe uh, actually help cool the surrounding area and get a, squeeze a little bit more water out of here before it converts, basically everything converts to steam. Uh, what do you think when Omega Throwdown? Coney, what? Coney 2012 or R20? I mean, ob the obvious answer is uh, it's Coney. Man, it's too strong. All right, let's get a uh, let's get a pump down here. Specifically, did put down a uh, little divot here for that. But maybe what I should do is cut this out a little bit lower. Like, basically trim this. Maybe all the way out to the end. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's take a moment to come down here and just. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna fucking hate this. They really are, but. We get all these resources and turn around and, uh, where are you going, dude? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> they can't breathe. Get that water up there. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on a second. Can they get these two water up there? Make that jump? Oh, there's actually some, uh, yeah, little bits here, here, here. And then I guess I can't, oh, if I get that, I can't get up there. I pick it that, I can't get up there, so I'll save those. And then what we'll do is we'll put the uh, the pump like right down here. We'll let's go through and just ch -ch 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 to get all this. We'll put the pump right here. Look how close we are to all this stuff. But the abyssalite keeps it keeps it separated. Would it be easier to go up the ladder to get air all the way down there? Well, <laughs> we're going over here. And actually, no, this is a nice little trap. Some polluted oxygen here that's just kind of trapped. Um, the this is all carbon dioxide, so yeah, they would have to go a long way to get up here in order to get some fresh air. So yeah, no, this is the uh, the best place for them to to get air. And unfortunately, you could see now because I've given them the given them instructions to actually let me let me change that because it is slowing me down that they can't. Oh man, that's let's make this like lower. So we'll make the bottom part lower priority. There we go. Because what they're doing is, if they if they cut through the top, then they can climb on top and run over here and get some air, and then come back and work some more. But right now, they don't have a path to get up there, and so they're running. You'll see, Movie will do it here in a second, because he can do it. He has the opportunity to jump up here and then go up here and get it. Yep, so there he goes. Oxygen, 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 oxygen. Takes a deep breath, and he comes back down. Uh, whereas before, they're going all the way up this ladder up to here to get oxygen. So yeah, it makes sense to reprioritize that a little bit. Where y'all going? Oxygen up there? Come on, man. Well, some of them are gonna go up here then. I'd like to clear all this out too. I just see this like hanging. Just, just give me that. Give me that. Yeah, this would be great. We get um, we could just put a pump down there and just just rapid, just bah, bah, just dump water in there as quickly as possible. And then I go insulate the pipe actually for the whole route. Let me get the liquid pump and all that stuff. I'll put these at like one. And there's some metal down there, so we'll just go like right here. Then. Yeah, it's made out of whatever. It doesn't matter what it's made of, actually. And then we'll do a bridge. Uh oh. Okay. We'll just go right past that. And then we'll just put a, uh, put a drip vent. Drop everything in here. That should fill up pretty quickly. Then we need power. Oh, what do we have? Lead? It's fine. It sucks we have, like, tons of lead. And lead is, like, the worst. Like, building material in, like, in hot water. Or in just hot anything. Uh, I was all power here, so we just go straight up. Mm-hmm. Yep, no, let's fix that. Go over one more. And we'll attach it to... this spot right here. Good. Yeah, that's fine. Powered by everything. 
temperature over here is 101 degrees. Over here, this oxyphern is 99.7 degrees. So temperatures everywhere are dropping. Fantastic. Food is uh, still good. Still good. Keep my eye on that, though. I don't trust it at all. I feel like I, I sincerely feel like there is something wrong with our food supply. But I can't quite put my finger on it. Because I haven't looked at it yet. Alright, so... The, they're going up here to get, I guess, this last piece here. Oh, they're gonna pick up whatever that is. Now, this is low priority, so they're not going for it. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So we get this. Take that. Get it, boots. Get it, boots. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. Get those two boots. Good. Get it all. Damn it. Yeah, they'll take care of it a bit. We'll come back to that in a second. When we do, all this should be done. It should be pumping and throwing all the water in here. And it's all, I mean, it's a lot of nasty stuff here, but it'll all get picked up. It'll get filtered out here. Let's check this filter just to make sure it's fine. It should just say water down here. Yeah, water, good. So the rest of it's gonna get filled into this water sieve. And the sieve is, I mean, it's not doing any work. Like, it's barely doing any work. So we need to keep it fed. We need to keep it fed, get all this nasty shit out there. Uh, the polluted oxygen will soon be able to get into the base. Oh, uh, it'll get, it'll get filtered. Uh, do I have a filter out here? I, actually, I probably don't. We haven't had much of a, of a polluted oxygen issue. You can see a couple of spots here of, uh, probably polluted oxygen, yeah. We haven't had much of a problem with polluted oxygen as a whole. So I haven't really been worried about it. Oh, there it is! Oh, the party time! It, any of the lines burst? Nope, we're good, alright. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we have a printable. God, I'm so bad at keeping up with that. Copper ore, 2,000! That's beautiful. My base is 100% pea jugs. It's a nice. 100% <laughs> pea jugs, man. That's, uh, well good. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's gonna get all this. Just dig all this stuff out. Come on, man. Get over here. Everything that's not, that doesn't have a build command. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and raise this up because they're all ones. <laughs> let's make all fives. Uh oh Every time is a save. Every time is a save. Gotta stop what you're doing, because it resets your tool, all kinds of stuff. Oh man, there's a lot. Apparently I made everything. Oh, crap. Well, that's fine. And then, uh, uh, down here, bam. There we go. So let's get started on that, because a lot of the dupes that are hanging out up here that are they're behind the, the uh, atmospheric suit dock, they don't have anything to do. So they'll be able to get that knocked out pretty quickly. We have another issue too, hydrogen. Uh, let's see, hydrogen's got to get taken care of eventually. Apparently I'm gonna get all this too. You can never have too many pea jugs. That's right, man, you never know. <laughs> you never know. My dream is to have all of this cut out. Like all, basically everything within the, uh, the abyssalite barrier, I want all that stuff cut out. And that way I can, uh, just build within this space. It'll give me, I mean, obviously it'll be tough to keep everything, uh, pressurized with oxygen because it's such a huge space, but we're doing so well with oxygen lately that I'm getting, feeling pretty cocky. <laughs> so, you know, I think we'll be fine. Uh, this thing's not working because, probably because there's plenty of air. Oh, there's no allergy. Uh, let's make that a nine. That way it keeps that full. I want, I want it to be max pressure, not, not chilling, not idle. We have nine dupes, if we only have eight seats. Whoops, it's been like that for a long time now. Furniture is at another mess table. We'll make it out of, uh, we'll make that a five actually. Mm, iron ore. An iron table. Look at that. Uh oh. <laughs> the, I swear these damn things like keep on the, the, uh, Discord notifications just keep on resetting themselves. I definitely turn them off because it get, I get notifications for, uh, who the fuck is starving, Lindsay? Go get some food. What is that? Um, but I swear I get, I, I always turn off those notifications. They keep on coming back. This thing's just dripping like crazy. I gotta probably repipe that over into, uh, another area too. So, there is so much. <laughs> I have to do so much, man. What does the germ level in here look like? I can do it every time. Oh, not bad. This is great. I mean, the water that's coming out of here is actually not that bad. 
Like, I don't have like a germy pool problem. Are they, uh, I guess they're gonna take their time on that. Make a bet on his side because of a night shift? I don't know, beds are fine. We'll be throwing down at everyone in general. Yeah. Thank you, Wolfie. Oh yeah, here's the, I was like, I was thinking, I do have a filter somewhere here, the super air filter right here. It's not running because it's it's out of range of, of any, I mean, it cleaned all the gas in here. It was all nasty gas in here, but there's still some polluted oxygen floating around, but it's basically nothing. It looks like there's some, but if you wait, if we wait and see some, like, I mean, a couple bricks here and there. Maybe it'll just take a second. Actually, you know what? If I open this up, all of that oxygen is just depressurized. I'm pushing out because there's actually less pressure in here than inside. Yeah, so it'll start pushing out. The problem is that the air is really hot. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we, and this is a wheeze war or something like that. I like can park right here and <laughs> just let it just, just eye as it goes out. Have you stopped using phony in your intros? Uh, God, have I? Maybe. Yeah, probably. That's a old, it's a old, at this point, that's a really old moniker now. Uh, I, 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 I reckon I'll still use it from time to time, but just out of habit. But yeah, I think for the most part, I've been going by Mike B forever. I don't really go by phony anymore. And I haven't in a long time. I don't even use it in games. Even in games, I use AKA Mike B. That's why my pump's not getting done. Because all these are sevens. And these take forever, so you know what? These should be fives. Construction. These should be fives. That way, they could just work on this in the free time. Because that's gonna take forever, man. It takes forever to build those damn things. And then we go make all this. This is all gonna be my sevens. So that way, it does get done. There we go. Gone like the Zam days. They're gone. Mike B.A.K. Phony. A.K.A. Balls. A.K.A. Whatever. AKA. Look at all this steam. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Gone like Game Breaker TV. I know. Where does that URL even go anymore? Does it even go anywhere? There's actually a significant amount of gas in here. We should go ahead and turn this on again. We're using some of that, so let's go turn this on. We have not we have not reached the full the full capacity of what this collection of um, of natural gas geysers can put out. Uh, and what I mean is, I have three natural gas generators, and I'm not, and I'm still not able to keep up with the amount of natural gas that's coming out of here. Uh, yeah, just overall, I turn it off. I turn it off from time to time purely because I don't want it to suck up polluted oxygen, and I have to worry about repairing stuff later. But this area has been. I mean, there's a little bit of polluted oxygen right there. Like, for the most part, it's been pretty much cleaned out of any... Uh, what would you call it? Of any... I, fuck, I can't think of the word. <sighs> Contaminants, thank you. Jesus Christ. Thank you, me. <laughs> there's like little, little, little bits here and there, but for the most part, it's been pretty much cleaned out. And the chlorine is fucking whatever. Actually, you know what? It looks like I might only have just this pocket right here, this pocket, and this pocket, and that's it. Because everything else is all, this is all polluted gas. Or sorry, all natural gas. So, maybe what I should do is just bite the bullet. Boom, boom. Ba -ba Bam. And then let those, let those little pockets be free. And that way they can, um... Then we'll just, you know, it'll get, it'll get sucked in, but at the very least, we'll be done with it. We'll be done with polluted oxygen down here. These things don't emit polluted oxygen, right? Slime does not. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a, uh, oh, never mind. Can't be distilled in allergy and emits, oh, it emits, once dug up, it emits, uh, polluted oxygen. So we're good. Yeah. So in this, in the solid state, it doesn't do anything. Great. A blueprint. Lime. More lime. What is this set to? Okay. They'll eventually get over here. It's not a rush. The Twitch channel is still up. Oh, shit. Huh. You have nine dudes who are natural gas generators. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, GBTV took me to Blaze TV. Wait, GameBreaker.TV took you to Blaze TV? Hold on. We're loading it. 
Oh, Glenn Beck's channel. Yeah, it looks like Gabriel Katifa doesn't go anywhere. It's just broke. Womp womp. Doesn't load anything. Yeah. Blaze it 420 TV. That's definitely Glenn Beck stuff. 